What goes up must come down. Yeah, Bitcoin is sliding, falling 4,000 bucks in just half a day. In fact, in the past half hour, the volatile virtual currency has taken a fresh plunge. After a year of surging demand, Bitcoin is now on track for its worst week in four years. We're going to be hearing from this man right here, this expert, who says the dramatic surges and falls in the cryptocurrency should come as no surprise to investors. Good morning, America. Evening, Asia. Hello, world. Welcome to the program. As I said, the last one, the last one of the year. Now, I've got to tell you this. As we go to air, Bitcoin is continuing to tumble. It is now on track for its worst week in four years as it sheds thousands of dollars in value in, well, just a matter of hours. Now, this morning, Friday morning, the cryptocurrency plummeted and it started falling again from, well, more than $17,000 to just over now around 11000 bucks. It comes, of course, just days after Bitcoin started trading on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, that's the futures market, a move which some seeing it as giving it some, well, legitimacy. But many are warning of potential dangers. In fact, one Tokyo expert says its volatility doesn't follow, doesn't follow any logical pattern. So trading in it really is a form of gambling, not an investment. Let's get rid of the cube. Because I want to go and speak to Dominic Frisby. He is the author of the book, which is Bitcoin Future of Money. Great to have you with us. Hi, Aaron. Um, so, Dominic, with this, and as, I just, as you were sitting here as we we're going to air, you know, um, the producers in the ear were saying, because it was about 13 plus grand, now it's just dropped another couple of grand now. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm just wondering, you know, in the last couple of weeks when it was having that soaring ride, People don't, and nobody knew the peak. People typically don't sell them. And in fact, they hold on to them and others jump in on them. But when some start selling, others start. Is that what we're seeing now? It's like, quick, I don't want to be holding on to these things. Well, yeah, there's a lot of uh, leverage. There's a lot of people who've borrowed money in order to buy uh. bitcoins. And when there's leverage in a market, uh, you get a lot of volatility. And uh, when selling comes in, you get a lot of margin calls. And so the price tends to fall very quickly. But I wouldn't be too concerned. This is the uh, sixth it's either the fifth or the sixth correction of 30% or more that we've had this year. Wow. <laughs> OK, it's a volatile <laughs> asset. In the meantime, despite the fact that it's had 5, 30, 40% corrections this year, it's up, I think, it's gone from about $1,000 at yep. the beginning of the year to at one point $20,000. Yeah. So it's nothing new and it's... It, Bitcoin is a new technology and it's a volatile technology. It's a technology that's money and... It's going through this massive new adoption curve and volatility is inevitable. It, 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 it is indeed. And I'm wondering, is there more volatility now that... What was, what was the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the futures market there, started on Monday trading. That's off the back of the other futures market in Chicago, the SIBO. Doing, being on these future markets, does that have anything to do with what we're seeing at the moment? Yeah, possibly. Um, what tends to happen, there's, there's this expression, buy the rumour, sell the news. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were very excited about the fact that Bitcoin was going to list on these markets and it meant that a lot of institutional money was going to come in and so there, a lot of buying came into Bitcoin before the actual listing in anticipation uh, of the institutional money and thus when the news actually comes people sell that might have something to do with it okay. can i just say mm -hmm. briefly <laughs> I, I, I will be very brief i will be very brief um a lot of people are so excited about the fact that Bitcoin is falling. People are relishing, they're delighting in Bitcoin's demise. You watch all over the media, Bitcoin falls, Bitcoin's a bubble. Bitcoin has been the greatest money-making opportunity mm. any of us mm. will ever see in our lifetimes. And a lot of very clever people have completely missed out on it. Mm. And they're so ashamed that they've missed out on it. The moment it falls, they are all over it. OK, Dominic, I, but it has gained some traction. We've got comments from the IMF, Christine Lagarde, saying don't dismiss virtual currencies. Goldman Sachs reportedly looking at it. So it is gaining some traction and regulation. If regulated. Christine Lagarde is saying buy Bitcoin, sell and run. <laughs> no, no. Do you have any Bitcoins? I've got a few. There you go. Hey, Dominic Frisbee, Merry Christmas. Thanks very much for coming on in and talking uh, us through that. We'll keep our eyes on the good old Bitcoin story.